Marfan syndrome is an autosomal dominant genetic disorder that affects the connective tissue. The condition arises due to a mutation in the gene FBN1 on chromosome 15, which is responsible for creating the glycoprotein fibrillin. Fibrillin is found in the extracellular matrix of the connective tissue, where it is responsible for the production and maintenance of elastic fibres. These elastic fibres are found throughout the body. However, they are particularly abundant in the aorta, the valves of the heart, within ligaments, and the suspensory ligaments inside the eye that are responsible for holding the lens in place. In Marfan's, mutations to the FBN1 gene causes defective fibrillin production. This results in fewer elastic fibres being produced inside the extracellular matrix of the connective tissue, and the fibres that are produced have far less integrity, meaning their function is dramatically reduced. Marfan's affects males and females equally, and it is believed to affect anywhere between 1 in 5,000 to 1 in 10,000 individuals. People with Marfan's share some common characteristics due to their abnormal connective tissue. They are often tall and slim, with abnormally long arms, legs and fingers, which is also called arachnodactyly, and they typically have hypermobile joints along with scoliosis. Other features include a high arching palate and either pectus excavatum, which is abnormal indentation of the sternum, or pectus carinatum, which is abnormal protrusion of the sternum. It is also important to note that patients with Marfan's are at a far greater risk of developing a spontaneous pneumothorax. Complications associated with Marfan's typically involve the areas in which elastic fibres are most abundant. If we remember, that was in the aorta, the valves of the heart, and the suspensory ligaments of the eye. Therefore, patients with Marfan's are at significant risk of developing cardiac-related complications, such as an aortic aneurysm, or prolapse of the mitral and aortic valve. As mentioned earlier, the suspensory ligaments are responsible for attaching the lens of the eye to the ciliary body, thereby suspending it in place. The suspensory ligaments are far weaker in Marfan syndrome due to the reduced elasticity. Therefore, patients are more likely to develop lens dislocation. There is no cure for Marfan syndrome. Management instead aims to limit the cardiac associated complications. This is achieved by reducing the stress and workload placed on the cardiovascular system. Therefore, patients are advised to make lifestyle changes, such as reducing their BMI if overweight avoiding intense exercise, and limiting the consumption of caffeine and other stimulants. Additionally, beta blockers and angiotensin II receptor antagonists are prescribed to further reduce blood pressure and the strain placed on the cardiovascular system. Patients are routinely evaluated through annual echocardiograms and by an ophthalmologist to assess for the presence of lens dislocation. Genetic counselling is also important as parents need to consider the implications of having children that may be affected with Marfan syndrome. Furthermore, pregnancy has also shown to carry a significant risk of aortic aneurysm development and therefore careful discussion is advised for women that are planning to conceive a baby.